to BYU Sports Station live from Studio B alongside Jerem Jordan. I am Spencer Linton. It's uh, time to be excited about BYU women's soccer. The Big 12 schedule is here. It's always time, Spencer. It is official. I know, but it's it's Power Five, right? Yeah, we roll. They've, it they've been a power team for a long time. It's been <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Here's a look at it. 2023 conference slate, BYU opens up with a big time game Thursday, September 14th against TCU, a very good team. They team were BYU awesome has history year. with. Yep, 9 and 1 all time versus TCU. Then at Baylor, at Texas is a fun date on Monday, September 25th. And then you called it the Cincinnati weekend, Jerem. Yep. Friday night game against the Bearcats, and then football hosts Cincinnati in their Big 12. Yep, Thursday, there. Friday, soccer and uh, American football. Let's go. At Iowa State, Monday, October 2nd, followed by a home day with Texas Tech on Thursday. Then Kansas State on Monday, October 9th. That's a good team. At Oklahoma State, at Oklahoma, and then Central Florida rounds out the conference schedule on Love Monday, it. October 23rd in Provo. Now that we've digested it, let's uh, break it down a little bit more and do so with the head coach, Jen Rockwood, and her star midfielder, Jamie Shepard. Welcome up? to BYU Sports Welcome Nation. back Thanks, to guys. the United States of America. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. we've been gone for a little while. Yes. It's been fun. You've been, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, sitting on that schedule for a little while, waiting for yes. things to become official. Uh -huh. Okay, but take us back to the, the date you first saw it. How did you feel about it when you first saw it, if you can remember? Yeah, well, I think I think the first thing we're looking at, who are home matches? Uh, obviously, we love playing at Southfield. And, and to see TCU, you know, the, TCU has been the best team in the conference for the last couple of years and have had tremendous success. Uh, I think a top 10 team the last couple of years. So to, to open uh, the Big 12 season with them at home on Southfield, yeah. uh, that's one thing I was really excited about. Um, the other thing, too, is uh, Central Florida has actually been one of the other top teams uh, coming in with an RPI and their success of their program, and we get them home as well. So uh, two of the tougher teams uh, on Southfield uh, was something that we were kind of looking and interested to see. Also interested to see who we weren't playing. You know, so there's three teams that we won't see this year, uh, Houston, um, Kansas, and West, West Virginia. Virginia. Yes. Yeah. And West Virginia has done extremely well. Um, over the years uh, in the Big 12. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, we return a lot of great players from last year, including our, our leader in El Capitan. So, um, yeah, we're, we're excited. It's your 14th year at BYU, Jamie, which is very exciting. I'm just kidding, like your fifth. What do you yes. think of this Big 12 schedule? This is, this is new and exciting. Very exciting. I think, like you said, this will be my fifth year. So I've had four years in the WCC, and it's been great. But I think I'm very lucky to be able to play one year, one final year in the Big 12 to see some new teams and some new faces, and I'm super excited. And new places, which will be interesting. And let's be honest, the West Coast Conference was like really good travel. Mm -hmm. It was direct. It was. it was West Coast. New Malibu, places. Malibu, Los Angeles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, San Francisco and Portland and whatnot. Um, this is going to be a unique uh, travel schedule for the team as well. And the Thursday, Monday thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll have some logistics things. It'll be a challenge for us. Um, some new places, obviously, some, some further travel. But we've we typically traveled uh, a lot in our non-conference schedule. So we're kind of used to that. Um, the girls haven't been to a lot of these places. I, I uh, you know, been here a long time, so I've been to most <laughs> all those places. So they're not totally new, but I think the big challenge for us will also be uh, the Monday night games. The Thursday Monday schedule yeah. is is a bit challenging, uh, especially because we don't do anything on Sundays. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. We've got some ideas, and and uh, yeah. I think we've always had to manage around the Sunday play. Uh, soccer is a Sunday sport in the NCAA. Uh, we've always done just fine. Um, with the challenges that, that comes with it, and it's paid off for us, and it's done a uh, great thing, so we'll figure it out. Yeah, Jamie, as a player, I mean, you've participated in Monday games before, mm -hmm. as Jen alluded to, you've, you've done this before, yeah. so how do you approach it as a player? Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a challenge and definitely an adjustment, but I think our coaches do a great job at helping us maintain um, that practice schedule and the training and keeping us fresh for those long travels and for those games. So nothing crazy. I think I think we'll be okay. Uh, when will the non-conference schedule come out? Uh, I think it'll come out in the next couple of weeks. We, we start our big marathon summer camp uh, thing that uh, we do every summer and uh, we'll be passing out uh, our promotional materials for that starting June 5th. So we assume it'll be probably announced at the end of the month. 
Very nice. Well, Tate, you, Tate's going to be at one of those camps, by the way. Awesome. For you. <laughs> you tend to go really light in the non-conference yeah. schedule. Just I, nail I, it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say right. that in jest because it's usually loaded. Yes. Uh, so while it's not out and you can't tell us specifically who's on it. Or just um, tell us. I what, can tell what, you a couple. What can you tell us? Oh, yeah, I'll tell us what you want. Sure. Um, no, we, we've always challenged ourselves with a non-conference schedule that's, that's been tough. Um, because that does prepare you for the rigors of a, a conference schedule. And, you know, we want to be good and we want to be up there. We want to be ranked and, and we want to get back to the tournament and do some great things. So um, we open uh, our season openers against a team, uh, St. Louis. You, you, you know, it's not a, a school that you've heard a lot about, especially in this part of the country. Um, but they've had a phenomenal program for the last few years. They finished in the top 10. Wow. Just this past season. They went 22 and 1. Um, they had a, they finished with a higher RPI than we did. So, yeah, bring it on. That's wow. Um, that is our home opener at Southfield. Uh, and then we also get to play uh, the defending national champions. We'll have UCLA mm. uh, at the end of the September uh, on Southfield. That'll wow. be a fun one for Ellie. End of Fantastic. August. End of August, I believe. So, yeah. Tell us about this group, Jamie. Uh, you guys played four games on your European trip, which we'll talk about in a second. Won all those games, some by like a gajillion goals. <laughs> How are you feeling about this group? Because last year you guys had a great spring, and that really translated to another good season. We've got a good group of girls um, this last spring, and being able to play four games in Europe was huge for us. They always set us up with a lot of games. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good. We have to play another one? Jamie's like, my lungs are still Two 90s in one day. That's oh. how we roll. Okay. Woo, nice. Right? No big deal. <laughs> but I'm super excited. Um, like you said, we've got a lot of girls returning. So what, 12 seniors? So 12 I seniors think, yeah. with COVID. It's with like, COVID, yeah. it might be a COVID senior injuries. twice or whatever. Yeah. I think Petey's been here about yeah. eight years or so. Five, <laughs> Almost as long as you. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just more. But I'm super excited. Um, I think we're, we'll take what we um, built last from last fall and kind of still build on that. And we'll be working all summer and getting ready and prepared for the fall. And we're going to hopefully do some amazing things. So. Now, Jeremy and I have tabbed BYU Women's Soccer as one of the teams, if not the team, that has the best shot to go in in year one of Big 12 competition and compete for a conference championship. We've set those expectations. Don't know if you hate them or if you love them, but where do you stand in that? Because you're a great program, Jen. Everybody knows it. The Big 12 knows it. So where do you stand on expectations in year one of Big 12 play? Well, I think uh, that's something that's helped our program over the years is that the expectations are always high. Uh, and this will be our fourth conference. Um, every time we've gone into a conference, our expectation is to win it. Um, I think that's just what you have to do. And I think we've been in a position these last few years with our preparation in the WCC, which was a fantastic soccer conference and really helped us nationally get even more exposure. That's prepared us well to go into the Big 12. Um, Big 12 is great soccer. There's no question about that. There's a lot of programs that have a lot of strong history, um, but we feel like we're ready and we're prepared. It's not going to be easy by any stretch and we'll be challenged very uh, deep into the schedule each and every game. Um, but that's how you want it. You want to play the best to be the best, and you got to go beat the best at home and on the road. So uh, that's what we'll expect. Um, and uh, we just uh, we think that we'll we'll be prepared for sure. You know, <coughs> you need things to fall your way. You need a little bit of luck. You need to stay healthy. Uh, you need to find your confidence in in the in the non-conference schedule. Uh, but other than that, uh, we'll be ready to go. You might be the preseason favorite. It, it, it'll be exciting. Tell us about the Europe trip. Where'd you go, and how was it? So much fun. <laughs> My first time in Europe, so very exciting. Okay. So fun. Let's see, we, we started in Austria, Slovenia, and then finished in Croatia. Wow. So three amazing places. We had a great time. You played so in like, a cool stadium, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some cool places, played some fun teams, ate lots, lots of, of gelato, <laughs> yeah. food. It was great. Did you eat anything exotic? Uh, no, Damn, I'm, really. I'm pretty simple. And gelato, <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. The they croissants. fed us some really good food. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. No escargot. Fun. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Stayed clear. Yeah. We're so excited, obviously, for the Big 12 schedule. Great to have both of you on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, we're going to give you some karma so you survive the summer camps. Yes. Yep. And uh, get See into you in training. See you in a couple and, weeks. And awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the time. Thank you. Appreciate